Patch 12.11 is here and it's a great patch so far. There's a lot to unpack and hopefully I'll have a video up soon with more of a deep dive into the new content and changes, but today I wanted to weigh in on the hot topic right now, which is the flea market unlock being pushed from level 10 to 20. There are a lot of opinions flying around about this one and the title of this video doesn't tell the whole story, so let's unpack this. I'm Gaz, welcome to the channel. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more. Leaving a comment helps this video with the YouTube algorithm, so let me know your thoughts on the flea market change below. So patch point 12.11 changed a lot in Tarkov, but the main controversial change is the level at which you unlock the flea market. Battlestate have played around with this a lot since the market was introduced. Initially it was unlocked straight away, then it went up to level 20 I believe, and people hated it, so level 10 has been where it sat for a while. This wipe, it's up to level 20 again which doesn't tell the whole story of how difficult it is to open it up. To put it into perspective, as XP isn't linear in Tarkov, getting from 10 to 20 is about 4 times the XP of getting from 0 to 10. This means that players will exist in a state of no flea market for a good while. The more casual players might not see the flea market until week 2 or 3, perhaps even longer, whereas the guys who play 30 plus hours a week and play effectively will probably have it unlocked in a matter of days after the wipe. At the risk of spoiling the whole point of this video already, this is where the issue lies. While Tarkov feels amazing right now, with practically everyone you meet on the struggle bus with you, in a week or two there will be a rift that starts segmenting the player base. When players with more time to play hit that flea market, they clearly have an advantage over those who don't. This isn't always a bad thing, my general viewpoint is that if someone has more time to play than someone else, they've put in the hard hours, they should have an advantage over the player who dabbles in the game on the weekend. However, the advantage they should gain is the knowledge they have gathered on the way. Giving one player access to the flea while others are still getting there is akin to pushing other players down so that you can climb higher, faster. If you're a regular viewer on the channel, you'll be aware of my thoughts on the flea market and how I think it damages the core of what Escape from Tarkov should be. But, I'm not so naive to think that Battlestate games will flat out remove this, and having thought about it for a long while, I don't think I'd want them to either. The flea market is a fantastic way to make Tarkov feel like an interconnected MMO style game. No MMO is worth its salt without some sort of auction house and I happen to think the structure of the flea market is actually pretty good. It just needs some tweaking to fit the rules of an MMO. I'll make another video with some ideas of how the flea could evolve, but borrowing from my MMO example, you can't sell certain bound items in games like World of Warcraft or Elder Scrolls Online. Bound items are usually items found and equipped by a player from things like dungeons and raids. This means that selling of weapons and armour are not as cut and dry as get the item and sell them, there's nuance to it. That's where the flea market in Tarkov should go. I've heard the phrase civilian flea market before and I think that hits the nail square on the head. To sum this up, I think that level 20 requirement for unlocking the flea is a plaster on an axe wound. It will give us the feeling of how Tarkov should play for a week or two, then we'll unlock it again and go back to how it was before. The flea market needs to change structurally, not artificially. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's been a while but I've been waiting for White to get back into the swing of things here. I don't want to pigeonhole myself into a schedule for uploads, but you can be sure that they'll be more frequent than they have been recently. Leave a like and a comment to show your support for this video and the channel. I really appreciate all of you who've stuck around and waited patiently for me to get back into the swing of things. Thanks again, I'll see you next time.